We're going to go lukewarm, and we got hot, then we got sizzling. So first and foremost, lukewarm. Your prediction here, see What I got, what I got. I got the Reds win the NL Central. I think that's lukewarm. Hey. I mean, I know a lot of people may pick the Cubs. The uh, Reds are, are the most exciting team in the Central by far. And it's, a, it's some question marks out there. What will Ellie De La Cruz this year do this year? If he's that version of he was of the first 15 games that he played in, He's going to be the man. I'm, I'm really, I was really upset to see Friedel go down, yeah. McLean go down, but they have the depth to be able to pick that up. And you're just assuming that young pitching staff, Green and Ashcraft, will step it up a little bit and be the guys. Frankie Montas going opening day. The Reds are going to take off this year and be the most exciting team in baseball. I hope Ellie stays healthy because he's as exciting as it yes. gets. Mike, for you, lukewarm I, prediction. Lukewarm is going to be the LA Dodgers win 110 games. Hmm. Eh, eh, whatever. Yeah. I mean. No, all kidding aside, they've set up a powerhouse. They won 100 games in 23, 111 in 22. So I'm going to say, hey, they're over the course of 162. They're better than everyone in their division. What they do in the postseason might be very different. But yeah, 110 games. But you're right. That's the done. definition of lukewarm. Hot would be 150. Mm -hmm. Sizzling is like 125. <laughs> right, right, so right, yeah. you're playing the game well. Listen, you were talking about Byron Buxton, as were you. My lukewarm prediction, Royce Lewis hits 35 home runs. Okay. This is a guy who can't stay healthy. But when he's healthy, he can bank. He was Mr. Grand Slam last year. Twins make a little bit of noise. I know Buxton. See why I love Royce Lewis. I love Royce Lewis. He looks like a little Andrew Jones to me. I mean, yes. look at the swing. Go back and look at video. He is the guy who steps up in big situations. Yeah. He loves the game. He's a positive influence on his team. He feels yeah. like he's a leader of that clubhouse, mm -hmm. even with Correa and Buxton there. I love everything about that kid. Took Gossman deep twice, like yeah. obviously the big playoff series as the Twins beat the Blue Jays. All right, hot now. Ooh. Mike, you are hot. What do you got? <laughs> My hot prediction. <laughs> Francisco Lindor will win the MVP. You know, wow. said, this is year three of a monster contract. Mm -hmm. And notably, guys, first year, okay, you want to live up to the expectations. Second year, you're settling. Third year, you just take off. Yeah. Quietly, he had a very solid year last year. He's put together two decent seasons. But I think 2024 is going to be the year. Lindor just goes off. He'll win the MVP. It's interesting. He drives and runs better than any other shortstop. Yep. A lot of pop. A little bit of a lower average. If the batting average goes up, maybe he's in the MVP. Hey, there's 30 teams out there. If you choose one of them, it's hot prediction, right? Yeah. I got the Phillies. I got the Phillies winning the World Series wow. this year, and I think that's hot. I feel like they, they've had the team to put it together. This is that team that after you don't win the World Series, you go home in the offseason, and you're like, man. We had that team. We had enough to go out there and do it. It just didn't come together this season. This is the season that it comes together for the, for the Phillies. They will win the World Series. Well, I'm kind of feeling you a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Bryce Harper, MVP. I got mm -hmm. a third MVP for Bryce Harper. I think last year he came back with an injury, had to acclimate to first base. He's had time in spring training. Listen, I think Harper is as good as it gets, a money player. There's nothing he can't do. I think Trey Turner is more comfortable now, second year in Philadelphia. I'm going to go Bryce winning MVP. If it was really hot, I'd say Bryce wins a gold glove. I'm not going to go that far. I'll say MVP for now. Now we get to sizzling. Mike, just, just – Light a match. Let's okay, go. Here we go. <laughs> Not only will the Padres get to the postseason, they will get to the NLCS. Wow. And that lose. Is, but they lose will get to, the you get to the NLCS. You lose wow. Blake Snell, you lose Juan Soto, Jeez. and your team's going to be better. Mike Schild has these guys locked in. And you know what? They have seven former shortstops. We mentioned Mookie Betts going two shortstops. These are all shortstops that are all playing different <laughs> positions now. I actually think there's a, a conscious effort by this team to say, hey, we kind of took things a little too easily last year. We thought we were just better than everyone. People would roll over. No one's going to roll over in the big leagues. You know, we got to come to compete every day. I think they, they had that mindset going into spring training. And by the way, their one Cronenworth mishap from sweeping the Dodgers in, in Korea, and everybody be like, oh, my God, uh, the Dodgers yeah. panic, and, and the Padres are the new team to, right. to, to, to watch for. So they're still supremely talented. I look at that rotation. I love what I see. Darvish, Musgrove, Michael King is your number four. You trade for Dylan Cease. Mm -hmm. I mean, hitters aren't excited to face those four guys. Yeah. So I think there's good things for Padres fans. NLCS, wow. See, what, what do you got? Yeah, Cisco. it doesn't matter. If the Dodgers went out there and spent a trillion dollars this offseason, I would feel the same way. The Braves will still finish with a better record than the Dodgers this wow. season. Ooh. They still will go out there and have more wins than the Dodgers this year. No matter how much money the Dodgers spent, the Braves are still the gold standard of the National League. They're so solid from top to down, top to bottom, no matter if it's their starting rotation or their offense. Really curious to see what Jared Kelnick, how he ends up fitting into that lineup, being surrounded by great hitters top to bottom. Yeah. I think they're going to be continue to be 
a powerhouse in the NL, and the Dodgers are going to be chasing them. For all the talk the Dodgers, Braves still get more wins in the regular season, right? My hot take, or sizzling, I should say, is Pablo Lopez. With Garrett Cole now out, I see Pablo Lopez takes a big step and wins the Cy Young for the Minnesota Ooh. Twins. This is a rare win-win trade for both sides. A rise goes over the Marlins, win a batting title, and I think Lopez wins the Cy Young. I love his makeup. I love what he did in Miami. I think it's showtime, Mike Lowell, for Pablo Lopez. I'm not going to go against you there because I, he was outstanding in Miami, and I think it's one of those rare times, like you say, where you're hoping you get a great second baseman and does something special. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was flirting with 400 for a few months. Yeah. The Twins are like, we hope we get a starter that we can rely on every fifth day. Not yeah. only you got that, you got an all-star caliber starter. So, good deal for both sides. Pablo Lopez, third in Major League Baseball in strikeouts last year. I think that goes a little bit under, under the radar. He's looking to have a big season.